Hey everybody, Average Picker here. It's kind of late at night. I'm not gonna get up super early. Uh, but yeah, I've been a little absent video-wise lately. Um, so I wanted to get something out. And this little guy arrived in the mail today. I kind of forgot I had ordered this off eBay. Um, yeah, I was just buying a lot of cheap stuff. Not expected too much out of it. Probably should have done a straight out of the box pick. We'll see. Maybe it'll turn out to be really good. <laughs> Pretty wide open keyway. Got a lot of flop, especially to the left. We're going to go to the right though. And we're going to use a DeForest um, just because the keyway is so wide open. Yeah, I've just I've been picking. I've just been uh, a little busy and uh, not really doing videos I can't, for no reason, really. I guess um, I've been just kind of in a zone of oh, we're open. Just in a zone of kind of picking and working on some stuff myself. I guess um, just getting out of my slump. And uh, yeah, just kind of working on a whole smattering of things. So yeah, that was not much of a not much of a challenge there. But uh, we'll go ahead and lock it up since we got the key. I'm not expecting anything. Oh, that's a little too big. I'm not expecting anything really in this. Though I was getting little tiny bits of feedback. Um, Oh geez, what did they put? Has it got Loctite on it? So who knows, maybe. Man, I think they Loctited this sucker. I just lost all my grip. Let's find a pair of pliers. Oh, I'm out of frame there a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Definitely got a good big crack off of that as it popped. It was weird. I can't really tell you what I did uh, to open it. Just it's almost just very very light tension, just almost tickling the pins, and it just kind of fell open. No real distinct clicks or anything. What is that? Uh, is that a little lock washer that was on one of the? Yeah, the little screws have little lock washers on them. Um, oh, that's going to be a little small. Let's get into the drawer. That should work. Oh, it reduces down inside. I see. Okay, maybe... Uh Maybe we're okay with that other one. The top of this thing, wow, nothing really quite wants to fit in there. Let's go back to the old faithful and we'll just, does it reduce down even more? The top of it shows six pins. Um, if there are six pins, I'll tell you that sixth pin is riding. Uh, we're going to go with a really small one. And oh gosh, that's going to be too small. Let's just gut it from the back. Let's just do that. Um, yeah, if there are six in here, 
that sixth one is going to be writing a ball bearing came out so six had a ball bearing in it and no pin Yeah, these are all coming out standards, looks like. Two different types of springs in it. This is all uh, stock. So, yeah, it's got a much. So, the ball bearing was held down. Much different uh, spring type. Yeah, we'll get those arranged. Um, yeah, it's going to be all standard. Oh, oh wow, the core is cheap. Um, so yeah, oh no. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I'll show you what's going on here, guys. Pin five didn't have to be picked at all. I bought this lock. I remember um, once it came, I was like, oh yeah, this is that one. I liked the shape of it. <laughs> so I bought it because it was oval. <laughs> All right, let's flip the camera. So there we go. Not really anything to show. Um, is that a spool? No, it's just a very rough pin. Wow, look at that. It's not as rough as... I've seen some before, but man, that, I mean, maybe that's, I mean, it does have a lip sort of around it. Maybe that's supposed to be passing for a spool. Do we have another one like that? Let's zoom in on them. Yeah, that's weird. I mean, I guess, like, like I said, so there was a little tiny bit of feedback um, I kind of I was picking from down here and I kind of wondered if I was just banging that bit of warding um, very light tension on it though so maybe I was actually feeling whatever that is <laughs> you know these look remarkably like uh, those pins I shaped using a rock <laughs> one time for those of you that remember that <laughs> um, yeah so five didn't have to be picked at all, and six um, had that ball bearing in it. So and you can see our core there, one, two, three, four, five. Our ball bearing just rides there. Just I guess it was just something to kind of try to hold it a little bit in place. Um, yeah, I wondered, because the key, if we look at the key, there's not really room on it or a six but if that had been drilled out you can see that six would have been riding pretty much way back here on the key so yeah that six was just to uh, stabilize it a little bit man this thing is super lightweight I don't even know if this weighs as much as a, as a dime um, man. should we look at another one of these rough pins just to extend the video out a little longer. <laughs> Is it going to focus? No, it doesn't want to focus now. I 
that is rough very very rough I wonder if these are uh... now see these look okay I mean you know they're not great but they're smooth so I guess this is supposed to be some machine shaped spool you know it's probably just I don't know that's bad all right guys anyway um yeah so i've missed all you guys i've gotten behind on videos i'm slowly trying to catch up i ran through a slew of them tonight um some of them i got to comment on um yeah uh, just i'll get back into a regular flow here very soon hopefully and um yeah here we go if you uh want to exchange do some lock exchange too because i do have a fair number um hit me up at average picker at gmail.com and uh, we can work out a challenge lock trade or something. And uh, yeah, here's a sad little guy for you. Whatever that is. Tandy. All right, have a good one.